This pitch has not been given the attention that it deserves. It is closed on the foot end, very stable, very windproof. It is also closed on the front end, so you get 360 degree protection. Let me show you the shelter first, then there will be a setup instruction, then I will show you a video of me in real time pitching this shelter, and then of course you hit subscribe. It is not as straightforward as it looks, so pay attention. Start with the back. We're going to stake out the two back corners and don't put them all too tight. You will find out later why that is. Next is the front, we're going to put up the peak. And the peak has to be so high that these two corners come clear off the ground. The angle matters. If I go too far to the left or too far to the right, you can't make your shelter right. I'm using a DD tarp pole here, but you can be creative. A found stick is just as well, um, but this pitch is really suitable for tying this up to an overhanging tree branch. Don't stake this corner just yet, but start with these. Now you do that by taking these together in your hand and pulling them so that you get the general shape of the shelter. Then you grab the next tie out and you pull it wider so that you get a roomy shelter. Do mind the angle at which you stake out. Don't angle it like this, that will only put pressure over here. Don't angle it straight down like that, that will ruin your possibility to adjust later. We're going to stake straight out at a shallow angle from the longest side of your tarp. We're staking the rest of the side tie outs. The pointer here is that you don't stake them out very far to the side. This will lower the height of your shelter tremendously. Now if I pull the lifter point in the back, you're going to see why I didn't push, pull this all tight. This is because of this. This one goes in, this one goes up. So it needs a little room to go inwards. Now here in the front you have uh, several options for closing it down. If you have wind from the back or it's not that cold you can go straight down like this. That's handy because you can uh, look outside and it's easy to enter and exit without changing anything here. On the other hand it's so easy to take a carabiner, clip it open and there you go. If it's really windy out it's a good idea to cross the front. One there, one there.
and you stake them out diagonally to the side. This sure makes it harder to get in and out. You have to reach out, grab your carabiner and open up like that. Thank you. 